what is going on everybody welcome to the stream welcome to the stream how is everybody doing today or actually tonight should i say yeah so uh crazy stuff crazy stuff yeah i just got like this new version of obs where it's like crazy where i can like do transitions and i can see two view screens and i'm trying to get all like more uh, fluid with the live streams a little bit to make it a little bit better for everybody. So let me just say hi to a few people in the chat right now. How's it going, Scott Rollins? Thank you very much for stopping by. Cincinnati King, always great to see you here, buddy. Um, Indies Finest, what's up? What's up? Uh, the Dog, awesome, man. Nice to see you here. Uh, Desiree, hi. How's it going? Uh, Will Jamison, how's it going, buddy? How's it going? Yeah, so... Crazy new flavor to talk about. Now, this flavor, um, maybe you guys seen it in your email a little bit. Maybe you didn't. Um, I don't know if you guys get Liquid Barn emails, but they just announced their new flavor. So, I felt it was about right where now I could actually say something about it because I've been sitting on this flavor for almost a month now. And it's amazing. It's an amazing flavor. I have to admit, I really, really like it. Um, but I'm going to like talk a little bit more about it. We're going to vape on it. We're going to talk about it. Uh, so I figured I would try to do this like little like uh, liquid barn, do a live review. I've never done it before. I figured why not give it a shot. If I don't feel it goes too well, I might do another video still. But I figured let's just talk about it because it just came out and people want to know. Especially this one. It's really good. Uh, also, I think we, uh, we'll talk about another Flavor flavor, uh, one of their new flavors, uh, because I actually have a new recipe out that I've been working on, and it tastes really good, and it uses one of those new flavors, and definitely, since they're coming out in about five days, definitely worth picking this one up. There's not another flavor like it. Uh, also, we'll probably look at another Bull City Flavors recipe pack. So, exciting stuff, exciting stuff. John Seely, what's going on, buddy? Frank, what's up, man? Dad, how's it going? Yeah, and again, guys, sorry I'm kind of late today. Um, I just had a, like a a crazy night last night at work. I worked third shift, and then I woke up, slept way too long, slept on the wrong side of the bed. Freaking half my arm is like numb. I don't know if it's because I'm having a heart attack or something. I don't know. I'm just kidding. That's not even funny to joke about. But no, I slept on my arm the wrong way, so it just feels funny. Um, yeah. So Trent, what's up, man? I don't know if I said hi to you. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, um, something I do want to touch upon. Um, something I said in my last live stream. Uh, something to do with the website. Um, I did kind of release a note on the video and in the group. And with uh, a couple of the parties that were concerned. Um, basically, uh, for the time being, I'm seeking legal counsel uh, for more information on what's exactly okay and not okay to sell on my site in terms of coils. So, I took the coils off my site and I won't be selling them until I get more information. Now, I know these whole like FDA uh, regulations are kind of stupid. But at the same time, is I don't want to be that person that sets the bad image for it. And I'd rather do the right thing and find out if it's okay to do first. And do it. I, I want to do it the right way. Let's just put it that way. Um, let's see. Uh, John Seely says, check out my banana moon pie recipe on ELR. All right, if you're a part of the JFM development, uh, just friggin' mix group. If not, make sure you join. It's a great group of mixers, and put it in the group. That way I'll definitely see it, because me, unfortunately, I'm a very forgetful person, so I'll probably forget if, I, if like, I don't get reminded. Uh, <laughs> in these finest, this is a dick. A dick tease left my hands up. <laughs> Stuart. Damn you, JFM. It's 3 a.m., so I'll say hello and goodbye as I need sleep. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, early where you are. You're in England, or the U.K. U.K., England. Yeah, sorry about that, bud. Uh, John Fina, what's up, buddy? What's up? Thank you. Thank you very much for um getting a shirt. Yeah. Uh, the only reason why I'm mentioning this right now is because uh, John Phenom actually just posted in the uh, JFM group. 
if you guys are interested for a limited time, I think there might be only like seven or six days left. I haven't really checked. Uh, but uh, I have a Teespring campaign. Uh, link should be in the description. If not, it's in the JFM group, but I think it's in the description. Uh, it's only for a limited time because it's a campaign. And basically, you can get yourself a JFM uh, shirt or hat. No, wait, no, no. They're just shirts or for men or women. Then there's coffee mugs and stickers. And basically, I don't really see much of the profits of it, but I do get a portion of the profits from it. The other half goes to Teespring. But basically, what I'm going to do with the funds is I'm going to get a magnetic stir plate and heat mixer and we're gonna it as long as the campaign goes good and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do some videos on it and see the benefits and see if it's actually worth the money so if you guys want a jfm shirt and you want to help out the channel that's a good way to do it because then you also get something in return and it's a great way but yeah it's a teespring campaign uh what i want to do in the future is i do want to get my own printer and be able to have them all the time on my website. But for now, you can only do these things for a limited time. It's just the way they work. So, And I figured it would be a good way to get the people who really wanted a shirt a shirt. So it, I thought it worked out pretty well. Uh, dude says he loves DIY juice way better than the stuff from the shop. Yeah, I do. I mean, I can relate to that. I definitely like my DIY juice better than the stuff I get from the shop. Uh, da, 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 da. How much are they? How much are what? Oh, the magnetic stir plates. Uh, I think it was one forty nine. I think it was either one forty nine or less. Actually, I'm gonna pull it up and I'll show you exactly the one I wanted. It's actually a pretty common one for DIYers. It, it's it's not the one from uh, what's it called? It's not the one from that charger company because I heard that one doesn't really have a lot of revolutions per per second or something. So it doesn't have enough. I've heard bad stories that it doesn't have enough power. All right, so man. See if I can find the exact one. All right, I gotta take that out. That's not good. Okay. Um. Yeah, it kind of looks like. Where is it? Okay, here we go. Yeah, sorry. I should have probably like had something prepared, but it 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 looks like uh, where is it? It's like something like this right here. Let me show the desktop. Where is it? Desktop. Okay. So it looks something like this right here. Yeah, I wish this was a bigger image for you. But it it kind of has like uh, both, it has like a little rail on it so you can put like a thermometer or some kind of cover, which is really nice. But it has uh, heat and it has a magnetic stir plate and it comes with some of the pills. But it's pretty much like this one right here and they're all around the same price. Um, and I guess they're around one fourteen ninety five, so they're even less money. But yeah, I want to try that and see the benefits if it's like worth like the average DIY or even buying it or how it will like affect mixes in the long run if it's even practical. Like I figured it would be better, you know, me trying it out instead of like you guys all wasting your money if it's something that I could like crowdfund. So yeah, I, I thought it would make for good DIY content and see what it would actually do. Let me switch up the thing. I gotta get used to this new. Okay, live face transition. Boom. Okay, yeah, so this OBS is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, Cincinnati King says, I got about 200 bucks worth of coils. Freelian, staggered, stapled, fused, Clapton's, aliens, uh, three core frame. 
Clapton's or Fuse Clapton's and Staggerton's. Oh, uh, speaking of Staggerton's, man, I've been trying to get like a Staggerton down. Like it's very tedious. Like um, the only way I've been able to actually like do it good is by going like really slow with the wire, and you know taking it slow, make sure you're not getting it. But like if I do it like really fast, I always mess it up. But yeah, uh, definitely, uh, that's one coil I've been working on. Not, it's a nice looking coil though. Even when I messed up, it still looked pretty nice. But yeah, I'm still trying to get that one down. Uh, Josh Bar Barnett says, JFM, no shirts. Oh, you don't like shirts, man? Uh, hope much for a JFM shirt. I got bags and bags of homemade coils. Yeah, man. I, you know, other than mixing, it's a. I like making coils too. It's like a, it's a good change of pace, and it it's fun to like, just like making e liquid is fun because like you make something that you work on, and then you get to vape something really fine and tasty afterwards. Same thing with the coil. You get to work like really hard on a nice nice coil. And then afterwards, you get the fruit of your labor. You get to vape it after. And you get to see how good it is and stuff like that. Yeah, I think it's really nice. Uh, Thad says, are you going to do another Taste of the Fudge week since it's been a week? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. No problem. Thanks for reminding me. Actually, you know what? Let's do that right now. Let's do that first. All right, so this is a... Ooh, that's really nice and loud and crisp. Okay, so this is uh, Thad's recipe, okay? Uh, this is uh, Thad's five-minute fudge, your grandma's fudge. Or we made it a couple streams ago. And um, it's basically supposed to be like a chocolate fudge. Correct me if I'm wrong, Thad, but it's supposed to be like a chocolate fudge recipe. And it was good, but I, I thought it felt kind of same victim to all chocolate vapes. And it also, I think I said that... I felt like it was uh, missing something, but like I was kind of trying to say it was missing something on the end, like maybe a little bit of texture. And I think that thought I was trying to get confused with the brownie. I was just using brownie as an example. But we'll see how it came, came out because he, this is something that is definitely a steeper. So we'll drip some right now and we'll try her out. Okay, let's see. Here we go. It smells really nice. It does. Okay. Also, just so you guys know, um, another thing that's going on in the community right now is uh, Addy Tooney and uh, Omageddon E-Liquid. And a couple others on Instagram. They're having that, um, I think it's like a CP4 ADV or ADD. or It's a whole lot of letters, basically. Uh, what they're doing is they have a whole collection of e-liquid providers, uh, coil builders, all different like uh, type of people in the industry who like provide these products and or people who donate these things, like vaporizer devices, atomizers, stuff like that. And they're creating five prize packs, okay? And these five prize packs, they're going for raffles, and basically, you donate to these raffles, and all the money to the donation are going to go to an advocacy group. So basically, um, I found out about it, and um, I offered to donate some concentrates. I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically put together like a mini starter DIY kit, and have it so, um, and donate it. So basically, they can put these in the prize packs. So. To contribute to this uh, advocacy grab because basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to put some more funding and money into advo advocate I can't even speak advocacy so they're trying to donate money to advocacy so basically um, check that out on Instagram follow Addy Tooney he definitely you'll definitely probably be able to see something for it on his feed um, I just wish I knew <laughs> knew the letters it's always changing I think they had a couple of them but they always change the letters. All right, here we go. So here's Dad's fudge recipe. Oh man, that's good.
yeah, there's a lot more texture there now. Yeah, I, I think it was just a matter of steeping. Well done, sir. Well done. That That's a very, very... That's probably... I have to say, that's probably the best fudge recipe I've tried. Um, again, of course, you know, chocolate and vapes. It's not like... Uh, it's not the most authentic you can get. Basically, I don't... I don't know if you could do much better than this. Let's just say it that way. Because of... Uh, not, not anything to do with that skills. But basically because the chocolate flavors we have at our disposal. But for the flavors we have at our disposable... Eh, <laughs> disposable. At our disposal. I think this is a very good chocolate fudge recipe. <laughs> Junior. No, very, very well done, Dad. I like it. It's a good recipe. Good job. Okay. Let's see. Let me see if I missed anything. Uh, so I found the clone for a grape drink. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? That grape drink? Uh, Grack juice. I have all the flavors now to make that. I need to make that and then review it. And we also got to do a Bull City flavor recipe pack. Okay. Uh, Cincinnati King says, I wouldn't uh, mind having one just need a lot of stuff first. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so basically, you're talking to each other. Awesome. All right, so. Let me clear out this RDA. Which one should I do? You know what? I'm just going to re-wick real quick. Because what we're going to do is we're going to try the liquid barn one. And I want to make sure I have a clean atomizer for that. Because I just I just dropped fudge brownie on here. Wasn't necessarily the smartest idea. But between um, sour gummy and fudge brownie. I don't think they're going to go good together if you know what I mean. So, any RDAs that you guys suggest right now? Because I actually want to get another one for, like, my rotation. Because I only have my couple trolls and my goon, and I've lost, like, a few of them. So, if you guys have any suggestions on, like, a good RDA that you guys are really liking for flavor and stuff like that, let me know. And just make sure it's, like, a, you know, like a daily... Um, RDA, not something like a Hadley or a Derringer, because I know those are great flavor RDAs, but it's not really in my all-day vaping style. So, like, if you guys know of a great RDA, I was thinking the Dead Rabbit, but if you guys have any input on that, definitely let me know, because uh, I'm definitely in the market to pick one up probably this week. Hey, Zesty Dapes, what's going on, buddy? Yep, so I got these also, I don't know if I told you guys this yet, but I got these two different native Wix cottons. And so far, I like the platinum blend a little bit better. Uh, this one in the can, it's a lot like uh, stringy, like it's really fine, like it's combed cotton. But the thing with this one is this has a really long break-in period. And then the thing with this one, from what I've noticed, is it's good. But the problem is, is it seems like it wears out a lot faster compared to cotton bacon. So those have been my little test on cotton lately. So I, I think when I, you know, stick to cotton bacon, I might try a couple other ones. I know Coil Master has a cotton. Um, and there's that Angor Rabbit one, which everybody has a problem with. So I don't know if I'm going to try that one. Um, or I might just, like, go to Japanese cotton, too. I might try that one again. But I like, since I've been, like, building coils, I like to kind of, like, try a whole bunch of different ones. Um, 
Desiree Parker says, or Desi, I forgot you want to be called Desi, that's right. Desi says, all I use is native Wix. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, I, I like it. It's not bad. It's just what what it seems to be. And it might just be the juices I'm vaping, so that I could have something to do with it. Well, I know that definitely does have something to do with it, but I still think that native Wix doesn't really last as long as cotton bacon. What about that uh, sour gummy flavor? That's actually what we're re-wicking for right now because we're about to talk about that sour gummy flavor. And, yeah, so this, I don't know if uh, you remember Zesty, but uh, I was talking about this flavor that I couldn't talk about for, like, a month. And this is it. And I just saw that Liquid Barn released the email, so I figured it would be fine enough since they released the information that I could talk about it. So, yeah, and I'm trying to do this, like, live review. I might chop this video up later, or I might just make a separate video to review it. But I do have a lot on my plate. I still got to do a regular video review for that starter kit, and then we're going to do a giveaway on that. Um, I also have some uh, flavors from Isig Express that I want to do a review on. And there's a lot. There's Flavora flavors. There's... Uh, Flavor art flavors. Oh, speaking of flavor art flavors, I really want to try that, uh, what is it? A juicy strawberry? I really want to try that one. Everybody's raving about it. And we all can use some good strawberries. I mean, you can't, that's one flavor I don't, I really don't even think twice about buying because I vape strawberries all the time. And no matter what, like, usually, it, it is true that it's like either hit or miss, but usually, you're in for a good time, even, like, if you have to use it with other strawberries, so. I'm just trying to think of, like, a strawberry that I've found before that's, like, total crap. I, re I really can't think of one right now. there guys not the fastest wicker okay here we go all right so basically what we have let me change the camera up real quick because what we have here is let's see down below Scale cam transition. All right, so basically what we have here is we have sour gummy from Liquid Barn. On the pictures, sour gummy, they show like a cabbage patch or sour patch kids type flavor. All right, basically uh, they sent it to me in a flavor, uh, what do you call it, a flavor cartridge. And basically it comes with this uh, 60 mil of flavoring. It comes with the uh, 30 mil um chubby gorilla bottle it comes with this taste makers card which basically it helps you you can line it up with this little card right here and you can measure the percentages if you don't have a scale or any diy tools it makes it simple for the beginner um also they send you a label in it and pretty much that's pretty much what the taste makers kit is it just makes it a straightforward easy way to measure it but also it's good because it's like I think a dollar more so basically you're getting a bottle and a 60 mil for it you can decide if that's something you want to do but also right now they're running a special on it according to the email i believe they said that hold on let me pull up that email just so i don't quote something wrong i don't want to do that but i'm pretty sure they're running a sale on it since it's first coming out and also, any flavors or anything from Liquid Barn, if you use the code JFM15, you get 15% off. Alright, so here it is. Uh, okay, it says, treat yourself in October, complete your bag of treats with a sour gummy flavor cartridge, and get one at reduced price this month when you bundle in our Taste Makers kit. Okay, so they are running some kind of special uh, according to their email. Alright, so 
now that we got that information, um, basically what I did for this little tester is there's no nicotine in it. There's just DG and PG, and there's, uh, I used the suggested recommended percentage of 17%. I don't know if you can see that too well, but it says 17%. All right, so now I'm going to bring it up top. I'm going to, like, try a little bit of the flavor on my hand, talk about it, and then we're going to vape some of it and then talk about that. Okay, so live face. Here we go. Transition. Yeah, got to get used to this new OBS thing. Okay, so here we go. Let's try some sour gummy. In the back of our hand, we get a little sip. All right, here we go. Mmm. Yeah. So it kind of tastes like a. Kind of has like a gummy bear slash gummy worms type of flavor to it, and then it also has a. Uh, that sour component that's in, uh, what do you call it? There's a, what's that chemical called? Uh, there's a certain ingredient that makes it sour. It, it tastes like it's in there. Of course, I have a brain fart right now. But it, it's in the same thing as, like, a Sour Wizard or a TFA Sour. It's the same kind of component, but it's in there. So, basically, it's kind of giving you, like, a sour gummy bear taste. And off the hand, it tastes great. It tastes like it's probably, like, the, you know... The same strength as like a TFA flavor. I mean, it's not something like crazy concentrated. All right, so let's try it on the RDA. This I had skipping for about two weeks. So no matter what, this should be in its prime. Now, the only thing I would suggest if you are planning on picking up this flavor and you want to use sweetener in it, because it's a candy, um, usually candy type flavors are stacked with maltol in them. So you're not going to want to, if you use a sweetener, you're not going to want to use something like TFA sweetener. You probably want to use something more like Super Sweet from Capella. Uh, the reasoning is, is you're going to be stacking maltol if you use the TFA one because it has maltol in it. So in here, I did use sweetener and I used uh, Capella. Cheers, guys. Here it goes. Yes, thank you, Zesty. Yes, malic acid. That that's that's the one I was thinking of. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so what I'm getting from this flavor is, again, you can taste it's a candy. It kind of has that candy taste to it, uh, much like a lot of the other candies do. Uh, it, it tastes like kind of like a gummy, like a gummy candy, okay? But the thing is with this, I'm not really getting uh, too much sour. Like, I know a lot of, like, uh, companies try to make, like, something sour. Like, you try to get all these sour e-liquids, and they don't really turn out that sour. And this kind of falls victim to the same thing. Yeah, I don't really get sour from this at all. However, it's, it's like... You can tell it's a candy. It kind of has that chemical, not chemical taste, but like a candy aftertaste to it. And it tastes like uh, pretty much like a, a gummy bear or, a, or some kind of like gummy worm. Now, they said to use that 17% as a single flavor. Yeah, um, I would probably even bump it down a little bit. I 
I, I think you could probably take like uh you know five percent off it. I think you could probably use this around twelve percent. But again, it, it it depends on your taste. It depends on like how you perceive flavors. It is very nice and fruity. I, I think it does taste good as a standalone, but I think you could probably make it better by adding more flavors to it. Uh, for standalone flavors, I wouldn't say this is probably one of... Um, I wouldn't say it's one of Liquid Barn's best standalone flavors, but it's not bad either. But I do think it definitely would benefit from more flavors, like different like uh, fruit or candy notes or maybe like another gummy in there. Uh, would I recommend this flavor? Yeah, I would. But again, I, I don't think the percentages are right on this one. I think I would bring it down. But then again, that could be because of my sensitivity to this particular flavor. Again, everybody's different. I wouldn't probably use it at 17%. I would probably use it more around 12 to 15% um, on the high end. Um, but yeah, I, I recommend this flavor. Definitely pick it up if you're big into candies. This one would definitely get you there, especially if you're looking for a good sour, well, let's say a gummy type flavor. If you're looking for a gummy flavor that's different from like the average gummy bears, it does kind of have like that, uh, a sour, like, uh, perception to it, but it's not really sour, if you get what I mean. And if you guys have messed with like malic acid and stuff like that before, you guys will know what I'm talking about. It, it, Kind of has a perception, but it's not really sour. Like, I don't taste any sour. It, it's like a hard thing to do in e-liquid. I, I guess it just doesn't work. I don't know. But, yeah, I recommend it. Check it out uh, at Liquid Barn. It's a brand new flavor from them. Definitely a good one. Definitely would benefit from the use of other flavors. And if you do decide to get it, make sure you use JFM15. We'll save you 15% off. And also, check out some of their other great flavors, like uh, the Pina Colada. That's a good one. But most of all, I really love their Strawberry Cheesecake. That is still one of my favorites from them, for sure. Okay. So, next on the list. We should do a Bull City Flavors Recipe Pack. I'm thinking, where is it? Hit that one. Okay. So next up is a Bull City Flavors Recipe Pack. So, really quick, I'm going to add a little um, thing from Bull City Flavors. Bull City Flavors supports JFM Development. They are an official sponsor. So here's just a quick message from our sponsor. This video has been brought to you by BullCityFlavors.com. Bull City Flavors is the official shop of JFM Development. Bull City Flavors also offers a wide range of flavors from many different companies such as Capella, Flavor Art, Flavora, Flavor West, Hankson, Anywhere, Liquid Barn, Lorian, Super Concentrate, and the Flavor Apprentice. They also break it down into different categories of flavors so you can easily manage through all the different brands and companies to get exactly the flavor profile you want. Also, they offer different supplies and miscellaneous things such as merch they offer hats here. They also have measuring supplies for your DIY. They have bottles. They have PG, VG, and a brand new excellent thing to Bull City Flavors is the Community Recipe Packs. If you go to the Community Recipe Packs, if you buy the full recipe pack, you get it at a discounted rate. So you can get all flavors from these top branded recipes from people in the community. And look at this one right here. Here's Strawtastic. This is my recipe right here. It has all the flavorings, the percentages, and you can get either 10 mils, 30 mils, you just pick whichever ones you want and what size you want and you add it to your cart and you get it for a discounted rate. So next time you're in the market to check out some flavors, check out BullCityFlavors.com, the official sponsor of JFM Development. Okay, thank you for standing by with that little ad real quick. Um, also, uh, let's see, thank you for stopping by Cincinnati King. Um... Okay, so the Bull City Flavors Recipe Pack we're going to be re reviewing today is uh, Sugar Cookies and Cream. Sugar Cookies and Cream. 
And this one is by Chris DVR1. And let's just see where it's in it again. Let's see. Sugar cookies and cream. Here we go. So, get the desktop up. Desktop transition. Boom. Okay, so Sugar Cookies and Cream by Chris DVR1. Basically, what's in it is Flavor West Bavarian Cream at 1.5%, Inaware Biscuit at 0.75%, um, TFA Butter at half a percent. Uh, Flavor R Fresh Cream at 1.25%, Flavor West Hazelnut at 0.6%, Cap Sugar Cookie at 4%, and Flavor R Vienna Cream at 1.25%. And yeah, so let's try it out. Let's see how it tastes. So let's transition back. Boom. All right, strip this bad boy. Ooh, yummy. It smells good. All right. All right, um, I don't know if any of you guys can relate to this. Uh, what I've noticed is anything anywhere a biscuit is in, it's a great flavor. It does well in certain recipes. But, again, it's another flavor that I am, like, really sensitive to. Like, if there is anywhere a biscuit in a flavor, I can taste it right off the bat. It's a very very potent flavor and distinct taste and maybe I just get it taste it differently than others but I can definitely taste it's like it's like strong in here at least to my taste Also, something I'm really noticing in this one, too, is uh, the flavor. The flavor, and believe me, I'm not going through Vapor's Tongue or anything right now because I can taste my other liquids. But the flavor on this is uh, not that strong, in my opinion. Like, I'm not really getting big sugar cookies. Like, I'm getting creamy notes, but I'm not really getting too much uh, sugar cookies in here. I think this recipe would go good for like the other side of uh, vapors. Like I was making this argument a while ago, uh, actually a couple streams ago, that I feel like there's two kind of vapors or a few different kind of vapors who like tastings, like who need lots of flavor in their liquids, and then others who don't necessarily need as much and still get good flavor from it. And I think this recipe is definitely one of those. Where this would go more towards the other kind of vapor, the ones who don't need a lot to get a lot of flavor from. Or maybe just my taste buds are like damaged as hell, but supposedly a lot of other people feel the same way. Yeah, I don't I I I don't wanna say it's a bad recipe. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is this isn't a recipe that I would personally, like, probably mix up again. I don't really get sugar cookies in it. I mean, I get cream. I get the cream. I get that. There's no problem with the cream. But, like, I don't really get, like, when I taste this, I don't think sugar cookies and cream. I taste, like, a little bit of bakery notes, and then I taste cream. And that's what I get from it. So, would I recommend this recipe? Maybe if like you're, maybe if you try a lot of flavors and if you try a lot of e-liquids and you're like, wow, this e-liquid's powerful and has a lot of flavor in my face, especially when you buy commercial, uh, then yeah, I I might try this one. Um, but then again, I don't know. This one's just not for me. 
but a lot of the flavors in here are good flavors so if you do decide to get it and this is something up your alley all these flavors in here definitely can be used in a lot of other great things a lot of them are staple flavors cap sugar cookie flavor art vienna cream bavarian cream biscuit butter fresh cream all great flavors even flavor west hazelnut is like one of the most popular hazelnuts right there so if you do decide to get this and it seems like it's up your alley, you might like it more than I do. Personally, I don't care for this one too much. I'm sure he has some other great ones, but this one is just not, I, I don't care for it too much. Uh, but you can pick this up at BlueCityFlavors.com if you decide to get all the flavors in it. Either 10 or 30 mils, you can get it at a discounted price, which is a great thing for new mixers. Alright, so, let's just say that about it. I I feel bad because I, I wanted to like it. It sounded good. Okay. Let's see. Scott Rowan said, At JFM, I had to make another 250 mils of your Flintstone recipe today. <laughs> yeah, man, that recipe is banging. I actually got to make some more. I have the serious cereal. I have like 250 mils of that left. And I got some of the Cannoli Bee Breakfast clone I made. But I gotta make some more of the Flintstone one. Uh, Zesty. Wait, what? John Fion. At Zesty, did you buff it? You need to buff your. What are you guys talking about, man? <laughs> uh. Zesty Vape says he's working on a new flavor himself. What are you working on, Zesty? Spill the beans. Zesty says, be honest, you're not going to like everything. Yeah, I know, it's true. No, well, you know, I feel bad because on one hand, like, I'm catching a lot of slack. I don't know if you guys saw it, but, like, I keep getting these videos. Like, I, two people made videos on me in the past week, okay, giving me shit. One was for the coils, which I understand. He's just trying to do what's best for the community. That's fine. And a lot of people also came to me about the coils. That's fine. But another one, a mixer, a smaller guy, just totally tried to, like, rip me to shreds because he does things differently than I do. Which, I don't know if I should take it as a compliment or not, but it's just, like, there's a need for all different kind of mixers in this community. If everybody liked the same e-liquid, there wouldn't be so many. And just because I don't do it the same way he does doesn't mean I'm wrong or he's wrong. And I would never question him, so I don't understand why he has to try and start shit, so... But anyways, I should probably just not even mention that. But some of you probably might have seen that video. <laughs> uh, hey, d Mellon, how's it going? How's it going? Hi, JFM. Have you tried my... Oh, bitch, please. I think that's what she's saying. I haven't. I haven't. Um, sure. Actually, you know what, d Mellon? You're always here, and I know you. I'm going to make you a moderator. If you want to add the link in the this, in the chat, I will check it out for sure. You know what? I'll say you was, I'll say you was talking shit because you made a public video, so anybody can see it anyways. It's uh, Hippie Vapes. Hippie Vapes... Um, made a video, started the video, and just kind of talked shit about me having a whole bunch of flavors and not knowing what I'm doing and shit like that. It was just trying to say, because I have a different mixing style and do things differently than him makes me wrong, which is not true. I mean, the one thing I will say about it, and I'll leave that, that is peace, love, and harmony, my ass. I didn't bring shit to him. I don't understand why he has to bring shit to me, but that's that. <sighs> Let's get the pitchfork out. No, 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 no. I'm not saying any. Don't do anything like that. No. He, he's he's a smaller guy. The last thing we need is a whole bunch of people going after him and shit. So yeah, that that's not right. That's not why I was saying it. What I should have said was, it's uh. There, there's a room for different style mixers in the community. And it's good that there is, like, different people because you get to try different things with different ideas. 
But just don't judge people because they don't do things your way. And your way doesn't mean it's the only right way. And that's all I'm going to put it. And I would say the same thing about me. I'm not saying my way is the only way either. I never once say that. Even me and Dean Millen, last, I think it was last stream, but last stream, we had a difference of views. We talked about it. We shared our views. I don't mind if she does her things her way. I just shared mine. And that's fine. And it's beautiful. I love that people have different opinions on things. Like, that's how we grow as a community. But don't be negative. Don't, like, you know, throw people under the bus or, like, uh, spread hate. We don't need hate. Okay. So, I don't want to keep de uh, beating a dead bush because I don't want to let it get to me. Um... Okay, so we did the Pulse City Flavors recipe pack. Oh, I know what time it is now, guys. Okay, so now, here's a really exciting one I'm working on. Alright, let me see if it's in this one real, real quick. Yeah, alright, let me read you up right here. Alright, this one I'm working on. Already it tastes great. I think this is going to be kind of like one of the ones like my, uh, you know, my Flintstone recipe and my cereal vapes or even any of my cheesecakes. You know, those are like recipes that I always constantly love to redo just because I like to see how many different ways I can do them. But they all like pretty taste really good. Well, this is kind of like going to be one of those same kind of things because I feel like I'm going to keep tweaking this one. Not to say it's bad now, because believe me, this is like all the vape material right now. But I'm probably going to try even more ways, maybe try to bring out more blueberries or bring out more crust. But like right now, it seems like it's a fine under it. It has a little bit of everything in it. <laughs> Shut up, Zesty. That's a big bus. Yeah, you, you're going to need a pretty big bus to throw me under. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, and yes, Desi, you got it right. Basically, it's a blueberry Pop-Tart recipe. I did release a little bit of it in the group. I released the recipe. I did, like, a little article on my website. I'll even show you because this looks pretty cool. Oh, wait, that's not it. Okay. JFM. Boom. All right, so here we go. Just so you guys do know, if you guys didn't already, this is my website. This is jfmdevelopment.ml, okay? And right now, I have it in two different places. I put it in my recipes section. So if you go here, you can find, like, a whole bunch of recipes. Or what I also did was I put in a blog post. I'm not sure exactly how I plan on doing it more in the future, but I did it this way this time. Uh, basically, here's the blueberry Pop-Tart. And also, just so you guys know, you can create an account on this, log in, you can comment on these things. So if you want to and you have a WordPress account, yeah, dude, sign up, leave comments, leave thoughts, leave feedback. You know, that's all cool. But basically, I made a blueberry Pop-Tart recipe. And here are the percentages. And pretty much here's, what in it. Here's, the, here's what's in it. I used Bavarian cream from Lorian's because I've been really loving this Bavarian cream lately. I use Billberry, and just so you guys know, this is so you can share the website. It'll pop up, like, once, I believe, when you come in. That's just so, like, you can share if you like the site to help, you know, spread the word. Uh, but if you guys don't end up liking that, let me know. I'll get rid of it. I just thought it would be a smart idea for people not thinking about it. Anyways, also, I put Billberry from Flavor R in it. It's one of the more earthy-type blueberry flavors I use a little bit of. I used uh, Blueberry Extra from TFA. I use blueberry muffin from Flavor. Like, that is one of my favorite blueberry flavors. I didn't use Flavor West in here, which Flavor West is definitely another great blueberry, but I felt like the three blueberries in there would be enough, but I might tweak that in another version. But Flavor, blueberry muffin, excellent blueberry slash bakery flavor. I used uh, Cookie from Flavor Art. As I said about uh, Innerware Biscuit, um... I like to try different things. I don't like always trying to use biscuit. Everybody's like, oh yeah, do biscuit, do biscuit. Oh, you should have put biscuit in there. Everybody always likes anywhere biscuit. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I want to try other things too. So I used uh, Cookie from Flavor Art. I used Frosting from Flavor to kind of get like the frosting on top of the Pop-Tart. <laughs> How dare you. No, I'm not saying it's bad. It's a good flavor. It's an excellent flavor. 
um, Meringue from Flavor Art, which is kind of obvious. Uh, Oba Oba to kind of help with the... I used Oba Oba to kind of help with a little bit with the frosting and then a little bit with uh, the blueberry filling. So it kind of helps blend both of those. I used uh, Pastry Zest, okay? Pastry Zest is this awesome new flavor from uh, Flavor. It's the ones coming out October 6th. And I know you guys are like, oh, damn it, you used a freaking flavor we can't even get yet. But literally, it's coming out in five days. This flavor is a winner. If you love bakeries and you love pastries, you need this flavor. This flavor is unlike any other pastry type flavor out there. It helps give you like a more authentic crust. Even if I push that up a little bit more, it'll probably even give me a more of a pastry taste. But I thought right there, it's kind of like it's laid back. It's in there, but it's not taking over the whole recipe. So I thought it was perfect at that percentage, but it is such a new flavor. But so far, it's been steeping out really well at that percentage. Also, I use sprinkles from Flavor West to kind of get like the little sprinkles on top of the frosting. Um, you know, sprinkles is kind of like one of those flavors where it's just like, is it really doing much? Because it's like not only weak, but it's weird. But I tried it here. It seems like it's okay, but I don't know if it would really make the difference if I took it out, honestly. Um, sugar cookie from Capella. I use that to kind of help with the crust, and then I use super sweet. And I actually use super sweet con conservatively here this time. I only used it at half a percent. So it's pretty conservative for me, I gotta admit. I gotta admit. But it, it's good. It's really good. It actually tastes like... Oh, live face. Let's see this. It actually tastes like a really good Pop-Tart flavor. I love it. I love it. I think it's good. I think you, if you guys end up getting that flavor, you should try it out. Um, I just wish... I don't know if I could do, like, a giveaway and do, like, samples. I'm just trying to think, like... This guy has me thinking of, like, all the freaking regs now. What's, like, legal for me to do or not. But I think if I do, like, no nic... I think maybe I should do a giveaway for no nicotine samples. So, if you guys want me to do a giveaway... I will do a giveaway of one of these e-liquids mixed up with no nicotine in it, and I'll do it as a giveaway. Let me know if you guys want me to do that, and I'll do a random one right now, because I think this recipe is, it, it, it's good, it's good. With, with those new flavors, that pastry zest flavor, it's probably unlike any e-liquid you've tried. How, uh, Scott Rowland says, JFM, how much different is pastry zest compared to baker's touch um completely different okay baker's touch is more kind of like uh almost it almost tastes like kind of like between like a custard cinnamony snickerdoodle slash bakery flavor pastry zest tastes like it's kind of like a cross between maybe like uh Zipola, but without the donut taste and it has like kind of like a pastry taste to it so like any pastry you've ever tried that dough it kind of has that like taste to it so it's probably like a pastry almost like a pastry dough flavor but it's not too well it's but it's not too doughy it's good it's really good like if there is one of those new flavor or flavors that i would highly recommend buying it's definitely pastry zest out of all of them so far, I think that one's the most important. And I don't want to, like, label them in, like, numbers or anything. But so far, Pastry Zest has me going. Like, has a great flavor. Uh, Jonathan Um says, What guy has he skeptical about giving stuff away? It's, a. Uh, it's that guy from Keep It Right. He made a video on me about my coils, but then he did a made it right thing or whatever. No, but he has me just thinking about like laws and what's legal and not legal to do. And But if I do a giveaway and there's no money exchanged and it's no nicotine, it should be fine. But I'm pretty sure I'll hear from him because he's just subscribed to me and he's probably going to scrutinize my whole channel now. Hopefully he doesn't though. But who knows, but I'm pretty sure... That is fine as long as there's no transaction and you're over 18 or 21, depending on your area. Better yet, you know what? I'm not going to do a finished product. 
I'll do a giveaway of this, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do flavoring. So you're going to have to put your own VG, PG, and Nick in it, okay? So basically, I'm just giving away food flavorings for free, okay? That way, there's no way that's illegal. There's no way, because you can buy the shit in the store. A freaking two-year-old can buy food flavorings, so. Yeah, we'll do it that way. That way, flavorings you can't get in trouble for. At least not yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, zesty vapes tastes like a cannoli shell to me. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That 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 could make sense. Yeah, because cannoli is pretty much a pastry, it's a pastry shell. So yeah, it would actually probably be bomb in a cannoli. That's a good point there. That's a good point. But to me, it just tastes like pastry dough in general, not just like a cannoli shell. So it seems like it would be good in a lot of different pastries. It's pretty much like it says, the pastry zest. Ignore that guy, he's a jerk off. It says green. Um, yeah, I know. I tried to, but like, see, the thing is, um, when he made his video about the coils... My heart wasn't in it, okay, so me selling coils, my heart wasn't in it. Like, I'm trying to figure out ways to, like, you know, help provide better content to you in terms of mixing, okay? Coils are just, like, a secondary thing to me. And it was not a fight I was worth fighting for, and it wasn't one that I'm 100% sure is I was right about. So instead of, you know, fighting over something that honestly I could really care less about and then rather just talk to an attorney and find out from an attorney's mouth rather than some guy on YouTube. I'd rather do it that way than take somebody else's word for it and me might be wrong or him might be wrong or whatever. I'd just rather not deal with it. Plus, I'm more interested in, like, um, food flavorings and my recipes, okay? That's what I'm interested in. That's something I will worth, is worth fighting for for me. But in the matter of coils, no. What I'll probably do with coils is I'm probably going to do coils and giveaways. Uh, a couple of people in the Facebook group did make a good point about it. And I'm probably going to give away coils uh, to some of my Patreons. I'm going to probably do that as a giveaway every month. I might even be able to do it to a fact where I could give each of my Patreons, depending on how many I have. So that's something I was thinking of. Also, uh, I was planning on putting a little like a flavor kit together for them and stuff like that. I have all this stuff planned, but I'll probably be giving away coils instead of selling the coils. And actually, considering I'm probably going to be selling my flavors, just flavors, on the, on the website, what I'll probably do is I'll probably... Um, maybe do some giveaways with that on the Patreon thing as well, or something, or like during like different giveaways on the channel and stuff. But yeah, I I want to hook you guys up. Like I I see the way I look at things in life is like if I have something, I want to share it. I want to like share in my joy of whatever it is. And if it's concentrates, I don't have a problem doing giveaways. I like sharing. It makes me feel good. Uh, let's see. D-Mellon says get affiliate links to everything. Get it, fam. I have some affiliate links for like Amazon and uh, ASIC Express. I want to do some for Bull City, but I don't know if they have any. By the way, you spell description in your chats. Scrolling. By the way, you spelt description in your scrolling chat. Did I spell it wrong? Oh, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Th thanks, Zesty. I'm sorry. Yeah, seriously, like, I hate writing. Really, I do. But I'm trying to do it more just for, like, you guys and stuff like that. But, like... Oh, wow, well, I'm a freaking idiot. Oh, Jesus. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not the best writer in the world. I'll be the first to admit that. But I do know how to get a point across. I, was, I could say that. Um, sup, JFM. Great stuff, man. Thanks, Wallace. Thank you. John Cena. He's on his dad. Do you think the... I think he's saying fudge. Do you think the fudge recipe is good enough for both city flavors recipe pack? 
what I would say to you, Thad, is go ahead and try to send it to him. And don't worry about if it's good enough for me, good enough for anybody else, as long as it's good enough for them. Because no matter what, there's always going to be someone who's going to tear your ass down or there's always going to have somebody with a different opinion than you. So if you want something, Thad, go and try to grab it, okay? Don't don't wait for an approval from me or from anybody. I think it's a great recipe. I think there's a lot of potential in it. And I, I, I think you I think you definitely could be a Bull City Flavors recipe pack for it. So yeah, go go send it to him. Don't and this is just like not me ripping on you. This is just me telling you if you want something in life or like in the community or your recipe, just go for it, man. Go for it. Don't worry about other people's opinions because no matter what, there's always gonna be somebody who has something negative or positive to say. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I've learned that really quick in, in this community and around, you know. There's always going to be someone who has a different opinion. Uh, De Desi says, I said pretty much the same thing when someone asked to buy liquid from me. I'm not a business of selling. I just like to share everything. I felt her. Yeah, I... I... Like, I have all these flavors, and, like, I do love mixing and stuff like that, but, like, also, like, you know, we had we had a subscriber the other day, and and uh, he was just getting started. He didn't have a lot of money. I hooked him up with the little starter kit I made. I gave it away to him because he needed something. Same thing with this uh, this uh, CP480V or whatever. I don't know the letters, and I feel bad. I should have looked it up before I started the stream. So sorry if any of you are watching. I don't mean any disrespect. But basically, I wanted to, you know, donate to it. Because not only is it going to a good cause, but it's going to an advocacy. But, like, I have the stuff to share. I am I want to share it. Like, I can afford to share it with them. I'm, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm a little flavor... I'm flavor rich, so if I can share some flavors, I will. Uh, Wallace said... At JFM, you had only one flavor to mix with strawberry, right? TFA, what that would would that be? Uh, vanilla bean ice cream, or cap vanilla custard. Any vanilla bean ice cream, if it's between cap or TFA, or cap or T pretty much cap or TFA ice cream, or cap or TFA uh, vanilla custard. Those would be the two I would mix with that one. That's it at JFM. Can you tell me where I, I would send it to get on the community recipe pack? Yes. I, uh, I will message you. Uh, I could probably message you an email later on. I'll, f I'll find the email that I emailed it to before. Uh, hook me up with FA Cookie. I need it. FA Cookie is one flavor I'm not flavor rich on, though. I have to be honest. I only have 30 mils left of that one. It was another flavor. If you need, like, ripe or something, <laughs> I'll throw you some ripe or, like, certain flavors I can't do it with, but certain ones I can't. I'm poor because I can't stop buying flavors that have a problem. Yeah, see? Me too. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm flavor rich. I'm not cash rich. I'm cash poor, but I'm flavor rich. <laughs> if only you could trade things with flavor. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure any DIYer could relate to that. Ah, oh, there it is. Train, train put in. It's uh, VC4 ADV advocacy raffle coming soon. Yes, that's the one I'm uh, gonna be sending some concentrates to. But definitely check it out. It's definitely an Instagram heavy campaign, but check it out. There's probably gonna be stuff on YouTube channels. If they want to share some information with me on like things to talk about it, I definitely will on the channel because it's going to a good cause. Basically. There's going to be five winners from what I gathered, and those five prize packs are going to have things from coils to concentrates, because I'm going to give a concentrates. Um, they're going to have uh, probably e-liquids, different, all different vape stuff in it, and basically all the money coming from that is going to go right to advocacy and donate to the advocates so they can advocate for the community. I kind of want, uh, D. Mellon says, I kind of want to buy the Wonder Flavors line. Yeah, I hear a lot about those, especially the new su super concentrated ones. I haven't tried one of their flavors yet at all. I have no idea how they are or anything, but I keep hearing about it. But that's something I haven't got into yet either.
Attention DIY community. All right, John John Phenom says this. Attention DIY community. If you guys can get John JFM 100 likes in three days, then I'll buy John a brand new hot plate magnetic, magnetic mixer. All right, everybody, please throw a like on the video so I can start making videos about a magnetic mixer. <laughs> Now I gotta now after this show I'm gonna have to, because I'm not gonna get a hundred likes nobody likes me that much what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to make a whole bunch of dummy accounts and put a like on my own video so I get the mixer. <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm just kidding there's a lot of lovely people in this community. I don't know if it's gonna be possible though I've never gotten a hundred likes I don't know. I don't know. Put a like on the video. Put a like on the video. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't count. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get too excited, though, because I, I don't know if I can get that high. I don't... I wonder what my highest liked video is. That's a good question. I don't... I don't know. In three days, that's not a lot of time, either. I'm not, I'm not one of the big guys. I'm a small potato compared to other people. Desi said, if I could like it a hundred times, I would. Well, thank you. Thank you. I definitely appreciate that. All right, guys. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for what I have today. Um, I really do appreciate you guys stopping by for the stream. Um, if you guys could, please check out my Patreon account. If you guys want to contribute to the channel and help support what I do here, check out Patreon. It's in the links. There's different things from uh, giveaways every month, which we're going to be having a giveaway very shortly for the Patreon. Also, there's different things where you can get into like live streams. Me and John uh, Phenom are going to be doing a live stream this month. Now that's October, we're going to be doing that. So that's great news. Um, I'm actually really excited to actually talk to him face to face. Like I all the time I talk to him in the chat, but I haven't talked to him face to face, so it'd be really nice. Um, also, make sure you check out the website. I'm going to be adding concentrates and some other things, just like flavors and like other other merchandise that's in the works. I'm still working on different flavor notes and articles and stuff like that. But definitely keep an eye periodically on the site. I'm definitely going to be updating things really soon. I'm going to be putting some liquid barn things up there. Just a lot of great stuff. And just pop by there every once in a while. You might find a new recipe or something like that. And it and it, and it helps. It, it, it'll help you figure out more stuff about DIY. There's different links to the DIY group just for the mixed group. So that's awesome. Also, if you need anything for your DIY arsenal, there are coupon codes, savings, and links down in the description down below. Also, make sure you check out your other DIY YouTubers, such as D Millen, over on the Vaping Underground Network, or Zesty Vapes. Uh, you got Fresh O3, you got DIY or Die, you got Steam Room. There are so many great other DIYers in this community. Um, let's, let's just love them all and f realize that they all bring value to this community in one way or another. There doesn't have to be a contest every time, unless it's a friendly, fun contest. That That's cool. Um, and again, thank you guys so very much for watching. Um, I really do appreciate it. And you guys have yourselves a great night, alright? Bye, guys. <laughs>